All right, welcome back. In the last one, we created a Kubernetes cluster. In this one, I'm going to show you how you could integrate your Kubernetes cluster with your Kubia account. Now, first thing first, you need a Kubernetes cluster. So either you could use uh, your EKS cluster, which you have created, or you don't have a EKS cluster or an AWS account. You could use a Minikube cluster as well, like I have been using. So you could use Minikube or Rancher Desktop which is available on your local without any cost all right the first thing first what we need to do is if you go to the so there are two ways of connecting kubia with kubernetes cluster first way is what i'm going to show you is using the dashboard and the second one is the slack so let's stick to dashboard probably for this session if you go to the action runner you'll see a bunch of things you'll see many runners so runners are basically the agent which connects with kubernetes cluster and help us to interact using kubia with Kubernetes cluster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a brand new runner. I'm going to give it a name, Kubia Mini Cube. All right, and then I'm going to click on continue. It's going to tell me a bunch of information to deploy onto our Kubernetes cluster. So as you can see, it is asking us to kubectl apply and apply a bunch of manifests. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one and going to go back to my, so we need to use the validate false. And now what's going to happen is it's going to start deploying bunch of namespaces, bunch of service account, config map, Prometheus, bunch of deployments so that Kubia can extract information and help us to interact with the Kubernetes cluster. All right, as you can see, it has got services, deployment, and if you just start doing kubectl get pod and hyphen namespace Kubia, you'll see a bunch of pods being in the running state which gives us the tunnel but basically it creates a tunnel between your kubernetes cluster and the kubia which i'm done which we're done and i'm going to click on done and we're going to start saying deploy connection now as soon as you start deploying the connection uh in go to runners and check whether it is there or not so as you can see that our mini cube kubia mini cube tunnel is ready it's in the healthy state you can refresh restart as well now what you need to do is now go back to the slack and now what you could say is you could say manage all right now it's going to ask whether you want to connect to an aws uh, connection or you want to connect to a kubernetes cluster i'm say i'm going to connect to the kubernetes cluster so type in uh, click on connect with kubernetes choose a runner i already have a runner so i'm going to say kubia mini cube that's what is running right so you can go back and check kubia mini cube perfect now i'm going to say confirm and now what's going to happen is it's going to try to connect with the runner and within a few seconds it should start integrating the cluster with kubia and we would be ready right as you can see the mini cube tunnel is now ready which means the kubernetes integration manifest has been successfully deployed to the hosting cluster which means now kubia can speak to your kubernetes cluster which in this case is the kubia now if you go back to your kubia uh, if you go back to the connection, you would see that your Kubernetes cluster is connected as well. I hope this was informative. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.